Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be checking out a new ESC and it's called the Solo Good ESC and it's from Banggood. Uh, it comes in three different flavors, a 5 amp, a 20 amp and a 30 amp version. Now this is the 30 amp, it's a BL Heli S ESC and uh, we're going to be doing something pretty interesting on the testing today. So the filtration is absolutely minimal as you could tell in there. The wires are absolutely tiny. It's only 10 bucks so can it beat our best budget ESC from Fly Color which was also $10? We're going to check that out. Now before we begin, just a couple things what we're going to be doing today. Uh, first we're going to set this up. We're going to obviously check for noise. We're going to record the FPV video feed with a flight controller that has no regulator on board for the VTX uh, to see how it would really affect your quad and your FPV footage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stick it on a Dell RC F405 all-in-one flight controller and see the difference in the FPV video feed. Uh, I just want to prove a point like this 9 volt regulator on the Dal RC all-in-one flight controller and the flight controller are freaking insane. So this is kind of like a comparison and uh, the, 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 the flight controller that we're going to test with no uh, regulator for the VTX. We're also going to compare it with the footage from the fly color uh, that we did on that same flight controller so we could see the noise difference between them and then I could just at the end I'll show you the Dell RC footage of the same exact test and uh, how it affects the FPV footage on the Dell RC engine yeah, uh, flight controller. So enough talking and let's just jump to the testing. All right, guys, so the results are in and uh, you saw it for yourself on how this translate over to the FPV video feed. So obviously with four motors, it's going to be a lot worse than that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. On the left side, we have that new solo good ESC that we just tested. On the right, we're comparing it with the fly color budget ESC, which is the best Beal Heli S ESC for 10 bucks. I mean, it's even better than the more expensive ESCs. It's, it's ridiculous. So let's take a look here. So on the left, like I said, we have the solo good. And here, this is the throttle level noise. So this is 10% throttle, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% throttle, and also the same here. Now, as you can tell here, the 75% throttle is usually the noisiest, but this thing just <laughs> from 50 to 100, it's just full-blown noise, uh, which is not very good to see, not at all. I mean, the when, when, when the solo good was running around, what? Uh, what is this? Uh, twenty ten percent, twenty five percent throttle. You know that that's how noisy the fly color was on seventy five percent throttle, which is the noisiest part. Which which you could tell for yourself, it, it's very very good, like really good. So, in this perspective, the solo good obviously is not performing very well. The wires are tiny, and it's I believe overpriced. So, 
that's something to take note of. This thing will give you possibly a huge headache. Now, let's go ahead and go down here. Now, the bottom two are, for example, it's just, uh, let's just say, simulating maneuvers, you know, uh, punch out, stop rolls, and, you know, just correcting itself. Just stuff that makes the motors move, you know, violently back and forth with lateral levels uh, that's not human controlled. So this this is what it simulates on the bottom. Now, as you can tell, I don't even have to say anything. Just take a look at it. It's terrible. The solo good is terrible, but that fly color is it's gorgeous. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, this is the benchmark ESC, uh, which is the fly color to test anything that's ten dollars up to sixteen bucks, even twenty bucks. Uh, it's very good price. It runs up to a maximum of four S. So you know, take that into consideration. But overall, this thing is performing insanely gorgeous very nice and um let's take a look for example at the voltage spikes we got a 28 voltage spike on the fly color here and if we take a look at the left side we got a 34.6 volt that's almost double oh well not double i mean we got an extra what is that six volts of look <laughs> look <laughs> this is this is huge this is crazy especially when it first started look how jittery it was so it wasn't smooth at all also i mean you could tell it wasn't smooth and you could totally hear this you don't only see this here you could totally hear it on the motor so that's something to take note of and, and you you could totally see how much of a difference that is i really don't have to see much here what um so yeah overall this did not perform as well as expected i was hoping it would be somewhat decent but this is this is almost pretty bad actually um yeah so yeah i would i would yeah so yep this is this is the solo good esc now i also i wanted guys i wanted you guys to also see something that last video uh where i was comparing the flight a flight controller with no voltage regulator for the vtx or filtration versus the dal rc f405 all-in-one flight controller this is the amount of noise that was going into it, but you could not see a single thing in the video feed, which is just insanely beautiful and it's just spectacular. However, this doesn't mean you should. I mean, if you can't afford another pair of ESCs and you bought them and you're looking for a flight control, then go grab yourself a Dal RC F405 all in one flight control. This is my recommendation. Um, it's using a sense not the sensitive gyro it's using the mpu 6000 and um this is what i would t totally recommend here and um yeah that's really it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope someone found this useful or helped someone make an educated guess or a good guess of what to buy and what not to buy and uh please consider joining my patreon it'll really support this channel help me to bring in more components plus you get a lot of awesome cool things i do like a bunch of giveaways and you get some secret access stuff to my website which has a lot of crazy cool things and um what else yeah and you, you could also use affiliate links down below those greatly supports the channel uh you could click them and check them out check out the products i have linked down below those really help the channel you don't have to purchase the same thing i have linked down below but if you click them before you know you purchase something that'll really help so it'd be very thoughtful and very nice of you if you can do that that'd be super awesome and i think that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it uh there's gonna be new awesome testing uh coming up very soon i'm about to go to set up my new esc testing rig if you guys seen it in my previous videos and that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and please let me know what you guys think down in the comments and i will see you next time see you guys take care